morning guys it's another beautiful day here and we are going to start again with our chores feeding the animals and taking care of them so come along we are back at <laughs> back at it back at our morning chores all of those fun all of our time off is now over and it's back to taking care of all of the animals um i love having our animals but i do have to say when we come back from vacation i'm usually very reminded <laughs> of all the hard work that goes into having them so <clears throat> It definitely uh, is a reminder that having them is a lot of work. But again, thankful that we have them. The dogs are so happy we're home. They have been just by our sides, happy, like whiny, like, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. like they can't even, I don't know, function right. <laughs> it's funny. But getting everything else put back and started again and um oh one of my big huge tomatoes got eaten by the bird oh my dude i guess we had quite a bit of rain while we were gone so that was nice as far as the garden got you know bothered and she didn't have to do that but yep we're back to it <laughs> and like i said definitely a reminder of all the work it is they do bring a lot of joy. I would have to say, and I know this is probably going to sound horrible, but the one animal that I would be fine not having anymore is our horses. But because they've been through so much, I would never want to do that to them. Um, I like. I feel like when you get an animal, like it needs to be a forever animal. I love horses. I grew up with horses, and they just really are therapeutic to me. But at the same time, it's a lot of work. And I was really, um, at the time, my daughter was doing horse lessons, riding lessons. And I thought, like, she would really be into it. She's really not. And so, in that sense, it's, like, a lot of work and a lot of money for animals that we don't use. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, we made that commitment. And especially with Bolt coming from a rescue situation, I wouldn't want to put him through that. Um, it's going to be hard as is if we move to, you know... Um, we had to leave him here with one of my friends for a little bit, bit. Um, but she actually was with me, went with me and picked him out and everything. So she knows where he came from. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot of work and a lot of money, but like I said, knowing that you're able to help them out and to give them a good life because that hasn't been something they got that long. Um, they're both pretty old. They're both 18, 19 years old now, so they're getting up there in age, so they're senior horses, and really, um, well, the fact that, you know, if we move, we want to move somewhere where it's a lot more green, we have pastures, so they have more of the natural grazing, and really are just going to be able to live out the best life that they can live, so, um, <laughs> the kitty cat came out, so that's kind of, you know, why we keep them, but, um, hey, Paco, seems like even Paco's happy we're back, hi, Paco, <laughs> they're so cute so Paco was uh, both of those were rescues too Paco is completely deformed um, I don't know if you can tell he actually is walking like his front leg is bent look how they're bent um, he's completely deformed so he would never survive whoops on the in the real world he's out here when we uh, do our chores and then this area's fence that they're in right now has an additional fence too so uh, but otherwise he can't go out So yeah, our animals are are definitely special one-of-a-kind animals And we like to make sure that we give them the best life that we can give them um, After all they've been through so we're going to finish up here We're going to go inside have breakfast and then all the unpacking and laundry starts The vacation is over officially <laughs> Something that's really cool. I think I've shared with you guys before I really can't remember um, is that I actually use essential oils on our horses because they work great for them too. So um, another thing with his poor horse is he's allergic to the outdoors. So needless to say, can't really bring him inside. 
I had a little girl say, well, why don't you just build them a big barn? I'm like, you know how big of a barn you'd have to build for a horse to be happy? So I'm going to flip the camera and show you guys. With us being gone, um, she didn't put on the oil. And so his eyes are super, super swollen again. But we just need to do a couple days of oils and they'll go back to normal. And then we just apply them constantly. And so what I do is I put, um, this is... Sorry guys, trying to grab my phone. Um, this is lavender, lemon, and peppermint. I just have it in an old tea tree bottle. And I put it in my hand and I rub it up and down his nose. I rub it around his eyes. And then I put a couple drops inside his ears. And then um, that helps him and his eyes will be doing really good here in a couple days. Oh, that one in particular is really bad. So I'm gonna go grab some um, paper towels and clean him first before I do that. So not a very exciting day. I literally just finished up recording a bunch of videos for YouTube so that way um, I can get some oily videos back up because I know you guys have been asking for them and so I got a bunch of new ones recorded and I'll have to edit them and get them all set to go but at least I got them recorded. I was gonna try to take a shower and get all nice for you guys but the reality is if I wait till I do that these videos will not get made. So you get to see me just as I am, um, mom bun, looking all sloppy, but at least these videos are getting made. So I hope you guys enjoy them and I will keep taking you guys along today. I got my Century Rewards order, which I'm always so happy about um, while we were gone. And then I will get to, um, I'm gonna go make some lunch for the kiddos and figure out what we're gonna do for dinner <sighs> and just keep trekking away at the laundry because that has just been my day so but yeah super excited i got all those done and then i have my package over there to open up and yeah i'll show you guys that too you want to see it it's the end of the day we are getting ready to go to bed now um again like i said not very exciting because it really just consisted of taking care of the animals and laundry and getting some videos done some friends came by this evening for a little bit and we hung out had coffee um and talked for a bit but otherwise we really didn't do anything i don't know if we're gonna make it to the lake tomorrow i really miss paddle boarding and so i want to get out there but if not then maybe on sunday we will and then um, not this Monday, Tuesday, but the following Monday, Tuesday, we are camping. So that will be fun, but I need to get some groceries tomorrow. I need to get some other things. So I just got to see what is available for pickup. If I can reserve a time tomorrow, or if I need to wait till Sunday and they'll kind of decide on which day we're going to go paddle boarding at the lake. So that's the plan. But for now it's been a long day and I'm pretty tired. So we're going to call it a night and go to bed. Thanks for watching you guys. I hope you're enjoying these vlogs and they're not too terribly boring and I will do my best to keep getting better at them <laughs> till tomorrow. Have a beautiful blessed night. Bye.